because um, otherwise the game does not kind of cooperate very well because it, um, what do you call it? It, um, it's too fast in the game, so I have to slow it down. Good Ebenen, <laughs> good Ebenen to you too. <laughs> Let me know if you hear my voice. I should have my voice on. Wait, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> oh, my voice should be working properly. Cubed? That's utterly ridiculous, Albert. Huh? What? The sound Who's there? It needs to be at 60. Don't, don't skip it. What on earth? Yeah. What is this? Yeah, it needs they to be at 60. simply nailed it. Your parents took something that didn't belong to them and I want it back. What? Place the map in locker number 14 at the Campbell College gym locker room by Thursday at noon, or I will come after it myself. Don't try and stop me. A map of what? How could I be expected to take a map to the gym locker room when I don't even know of what map this letter speaketh? I have to take this to Mr. Whitaker. Speaketh. Hi, this is Chris, and welcome to the Adventures in Odyssey interactive CD-ROM game. You're about to help Connie, Wit, and Eugene solve a baffling mystery. I was thinking, no, wait. Shoot. Don't try and stop me. Mr. Whitaker, that last sentence is in all capital letters. Yes, I see. The implication being that whoever wrote Speak this us. letter is quite serious. He is. You better make sure that map is in the locker. Miss Kendall, that is precisely the problem. I have no idea what map to take to the locker. You said this note came through your window? Indeed, tied to a rock, no less. This doesn't make sense. Your parents haven't been around for, for years. Precisely. Both of my parents were lost on an archaeological dig in Africa when I was seven. Asking for something that's been gone that long just doesn't make sense. Is it possible that someone threw the rock through the wrong window? I mean, your name's not on it. I suppose it is possible. Eugene, did your parents have any enemies? I've never been told of any. I can't imagine my parents stealing anything. They were good people. Even if there was some kind of mistake, we should investigate it. It sounds like someone's desperate for this map. Indeed. May I keep this note, Eugene? I'd like to do some analysis on it. Certainly, Mr. Whitaker, and I guess the best point of action for me would be to go through the collection of memorabilia that I have from my parents. Perhaps something in there will give us some clues about this alleged map. Good idea. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes. If you have the time, you could search the internet for information about my parents' archaeological digs. Oh, sure, I can do that. Where should I start? Try searching in the Odyssey search engine for anything related to archaeological digs or the Meltzners. Sounds like we all have some work to do. Let's see what we can find and meet back here when you're done. Okay, so who do you want to start with? The least interesting. Connie, yeah, we can get Connie out of the Time way. Time to get on the internet. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit, Connie. And don't forget to use your datacom if you need to communicate anything to us. Donna! <laughs> All right, the Odyssey search engine might tell me something about the Meltzners. Oh, so that's what we're looking up, yeah. Would it Looks be... Looks like several topics to choose from. Is it... No, that's not it. Yes, your spelling is okay. very, very wonderful tonight, Steph. Is this it? Wow! They really think the Meltzners found the treasure? And they gave part of it to the museum. So what did they do? Run away with the rest of it? I don't think Eugene's gonna be too happy about this article. <laughs> Some believe the Meltzners took Incan treasure with them to Africa. Ooh. Okay, so we need one more clue on it. A Anguish. Yes, exactly. Anguish. Wow. The legend states that the Incas hid part of their treasure from the Spanish explorers in the jungles of Peru. Peru. Are we going to Peru? Oh, we are. Okay, I think we can switch to either Wit or Eugene now. So we got the information we needed. Now, where did I put that box? 
How have you been doing today, ah, Steph? There it, there it is. Eugene Meltzner, care of Theodore Mushnick, 1513 Moore Road, Arlington Heights, Illinois, 60643. That's right. My father sent me this when he was in Africa. It's the only thing I ever got from him. I don't believe he ever sent me a map, though. Perhaps I overlooked something. So I assume this was sent to him, like, at least a year ago? Is that right? Or would that be shorter than that? No, it was sent to no, no map. Oh, but so perhaps it's a long time one of these ago. Okay. things could lead me to a map. I remember this picture. <laughs> like it was the last one I have of them. <laughs> that mustache, though. He was their partner. That mustache, though. So it still smells pretty bad oh, yes, over there Carlton. right now. Carlton. Strange. I assume he's still alive, and yet I haven't heard from him since my parents were lost. I wonder how I could get in touch with him. He may know something about this map. I better hold on to this. Ooh, what's this? Ah, the Melt's Neurologic oh, Puzzle. Duh, I remember. I'm stupid. My father Those was always tinkering okay, with devices yeah. like this. Not he as good really as Captain Price's mustache, exactly. Very cursed. I think, can Appears we use that my again? only two choices are to play the game or quit the game. Uh, are we supposed to do this yet? No, that's just... Uh... Oh, it's just an optional puzzle. Oh, that'd be terrible. I'd be flipping through these. Pleasant <laughs> I'm diversion, but I'm soft. not quite There's certain no reason how it for will it. help me to find the map. Okay, so I think you can, yeah, you can place that in your inventory. My mother's pen. You know, I never really considered this before, but a pen was a strange thing to send to me. Mother probably used this pen to write in her journal. I wonder what ever happened to that journal. Uh, the I'm sorry, won't Steph. Come out. Why would she send me a pen that doesn't work? I didn't know it was that bad. Ooh, what's this? A note. I'm still praying for you guys. 36, 35, 55, 15, 39. Is this message a code? What were my parents trying to tell me? I should hold on to this. I should hold on to this. Hello? Hello, Eugene? Uh, yes, Mr. Whitaker. How are you doing? Fairly well. Nothing groundbreaking yet, although I did just find a note hidden in my mother's pen with ten numbers on it. Ten numbers? Do you think they might be a phone number? Perhaps. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the suggestion. Oh, no problem, Eugene. See you oh, back yeah, at the office. Of yes, sir. Goodbye. Could it be that a was telephone number? Pen. Hello? Um, uh, hello, uh, ma'am. Who is this? <laughs> yes, a perfectly fair question. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Eugene Meltzner, and I'm afraid this may be an ignorant question, but... D did you say Meltzner? Uh, indeed. Eugene Meltzner? You're Thelma's son, aren't you? I am. I can't believe this. How did you get my number? My parents sent it to me. Where are you? I live in Odyssey. I live in Connellsville. I'm only a half hour from you. I need to meet with you. Well, I'm not sure well, I understand. Sounds weird. Well, who are you? I need my name to meet is with Andrea. you. I'll explain when I see you. I have something for you. What? Something from your mother. How do you know my mother? Please, just meet with me. Can you come this afternoon? Where do you live? 4075 Papazian Way, off of Mission Boulevard. I'll find it. Great. See you then. Goodbye. That was a slight bit of a disaster. Who are you? Where are you? Where do you live? Oh, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all we can find in here right now. I might have finished this game one time years back. Um, I think we need to pull out the note that's in his backpack. That was messing with us the other day, so... This book could be helpful. This book might help me analyze the handwriting on the note. Handwriting analysis is often studied as a means of identifying writers through the way they write. Details such as the slant of the way letters are made, the shape of the letters, and the amount of pressure put on the pen or pencil can form a reliable set of clues to distinguish one writer from the next. This can be important in situations such as making sure a person's signature is valid, actually signed by that person, on contracts and checks, or in finding writers who have forged documents and want to remain anonymous. Details that handwriting export details that handwriting experts often look at when comparing different written pieces include the ways letters are started and ended, the ways that the lowercase t is crossed, the lowercase letter i is dotted, and the way that letters such as g and y are made at the bottom of the letter, and other unique features. Some people who study handwriting believe that even personality traits can be analyzed in the way a person writes. 
While the relationships between personality and handwriting is not believed by all, experts do agree that comparing handwriting samples is a useful tool in determining forgeries and identifying writers. While one can try and copy another person's handwriting, it's very difficult to do it well enough to not be detected by experts at handwriting clues. That's actually very true. It's actually very true. <laughs> yeah, it's it's understandable I mean, stuff. This it... this isn't a very popular hmm. game actually. Well, that but, looks um, interesting. Unique it's from handwriting. The... the beginning C's start out with a curl. I wonder if I could use this somehow. And there could be other clues here. I should keep looking. Ah, there's something there. What is that? Ah, I'll need stronger magnification. It's from an audio series called Adventures in Odyssey, so let's turn on the scanner. Let's see what I can find. Hmm, if I can just hit the right combination. Slide the levers just right. I may be able to see what's hidden here. Yeah, it's definitely true about with what they were saying about the handwriting. Because even if you try to copy what someone else says, you still are going to have a little bit of a difference. Even if you try to get it as perfectly as perfect as possible, there's still going to be a little bit of distinction. You Let's check the difference. brightness. Adjust the contrast. What if I zoom in here? Let's make this larger. Uh, oh, it did emphasize about the G's and stuff. I wonder if there's anything we need to look at in terms of, um... Do we have to zoom Why in? I zoom in here. Oh. You mentioned something about the C. The way that it was curled. Ooh, 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 ooh. Samantha. Samantha, quick! Nancy Drew! Kidding. We see it, we need wit to see it. Come on, wit! Use the eyeballs! It's like, it's just not, uh, try two. Maybe try two. Let's make this larger. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hmm. Ooh, ooh. Samantha Mikos. Samantha Mikos. Let's go talk to Samantha Mikos. What if I zoom in here? Let's make this larger. What if I zoom in here? You mean a, like a, another little note? There we go. Hmm. Yeah. Geneva School of Archaeology. All right, Connie, Eugene. So, did either of you find anything else out? Yes, sir, Mr. Whitaker. I've discovered a few interesting facts added to our common Datacom-based notes page. I found a picture of Carlton. I remember that he was my parents' partner. I found a game device that my father called the MLP. MLP? Meltzner Logic Puzzle. I found a note in my mother's pen with some numbers on it. Oh, what numbers? 36, 35, 55, 15, and 39. I thought the numbers on the note might be a phone number, so I dialed it. The woman who answered was named Andrea, and we made an appointment to meet this afternoon in Connellsville. She has something for me from my mother. Good, Eugene. Is that all? It's all the information I've gathered thus far. How about you, Connie? I don't know how much it'll help us, but this is what I learned. I found that the legend states that the Incas hid part of their treasure from the Spanish explorers in the jungles of Peru. I found that your parents were searching for the treasure in Peru when they took off for Africa. Some believe they found the treasure and took it with them. Eugene, did you know that your parents' last organized mission was in Peru? Well, how could that be? They were lost in Africa. They were on their own in Africa. They left their team in South America after looking for the Incan treasure. They just left the team behind? I hate to say this, Eugene, but some people think they found the Incan treasure and then took it for themselves. That's why they went oh. to Africa. How is that possible? It, it, it can't be. <laughs> it's just a rumor, though. I can't believe it. No one's proven anything, Eugene. It's probably just speculation. <sighs> right. I suppose there's no logical reason to believe such a thing. Right. Connie, did you read anything else about his parents? Not yet. Okay. My turn. I found that the author of the note has a unique style of handwriting. I may be able to use that somewhere along the line. I know that handwriting can be used to identify someone. I found the watermark of the Geneva School of Archaeology on the note. What does that mean? Well, I'm not sure yet. 
I found the name of Samantha Mikos imprinted on the note, as if someone Samantha had written Mikos. her name on a paper that was on top of the note. Nice work, Wit. Looks like Samantha Mikos is the one who did it. Well, Connie, we don't know that. Let's not jump to conclusions. Finding her name on the note may be incriminating evidence, but not necessarily conclusive. We what are you going to do, jump on Samantha? Deep. Would you see if you could find any info on her online? Sure. And I should hurry on to keep my appointment with Andrea. Be careful, Eugene. And I'm going to try and build a little trap for our rock-throwing friend when he comes to get the map at the locker. He's <laughs> just, just sitting there. <laughs> well, you gotta hurry up, that pizza girl. Okay, Samantha. You like that pizza waiting? Oh wait, no, that didn't make any sense. Never mind. Disregard okay. what I just said. Okay, wait, wait, wait. How, what, what was that, Ricky? I love how they all have pre listed here. Mm -hmm. Like, just got the fact that he's the <laughs> Hmm. Archaeologist uh, of the Year, 1989. Samantha Mikos was named Archaeologist. Ar Why can I not sp say it? Archaeologist of the Year for the fourth time in eight years by the American Institute of Archaeology last night. She was honored for her outstanding work in Southeast Asia. After years of working in the shadow of Leonard and Thelma Meltzner, Mikos has finally come into her own. The Meltzners has appeared on a mission in Africa some years ago, and Mikos took up where they left off, creating a buzz in the archaeological world that had only rarely been heard. Mikos accepted the award in person and predicted many years of success. Mikos is scheduled next to travel to Eastern Europe. Actually, it was a very small um, game company that had put this together. Yes, Mr. Virginian. I mean, this game came out in 04, so. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was a very small gaming company. She has a shop? Guess a frustrated archaeologist has to do something with her time. Wait, so she has a, is a shop in town or is this somewhere else? Wait, oh, it's outside Lima, Peru. Okay, so they'd have to. Oh no, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, congratulations to your brother. I hope I have nice. enough supplies here to do the job. Before I start, I should write down what I want this device to do so I don't forget anything. It needs to take a picture. And then transmit that picture back here to wit's end. If I want to Peace. catch the person in the act, then I'll have to make sure the camera is activated as soon as they take the box from the locker. Oh, and if the camera continues pretty. to take pictures every few seconds afterward, then we may get a picture of the person's face. I'll set it to take a picture every three seconds for now. I can change it later if I need to. That should do it. Okay, so how do we do this? <laughs> oh! Okay. I guess you just... Okay, you just... Lady of the Columbia, how is Rosenberg today? And you are welcome, Mr. Virginian. Do you remember this? Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Whitaker's face! <laughs> oh, goodness. There's one more that needs to be... Do you need to add another thing to it? Does it need a flash, or...? Yeah, you are welcome. Perfect. That should do the job. Of course, it okay. needs to operate from inside a package, so the person thinks they're picking up the map. Okay, so yeah, now we can switch to Eugene. I remember only getting as far as this section of the game that I kind of gave up. <laughs> Hello. You <laughs> Usually, must be I guess. Eugene. Yes, and, and you are? My name is Andrea Hiller. Come in. It's so nice to finally meet you. You look just like your dad. Miss Hiller, may I ask you how you knew my parents? Thelma was my roommate in college and my best friend, though I didn't see much of her once she got married and started traveling the world. Did you correspond? Oh, yes. We wrote to each other quite a bit for a long time. She was very proud of you. But somewhere along the line, we stopped writing. I suppose she got too busy with her work. I wanted to give something to you. It's something of hers. Well, I'd love to see it. Let me get it. I wonder if it's the map. 
Uh, were you an archaeologist as well? No, I wasn't. But your mother definitely reminded me that she was one. She sent me all of those artifacts. Uh, pardon me? I never got to go overseas. Never had the money. These could be Incan. Uh, would you mind? Not at all. Actually, I was expecting you to come for this years ago. What do you mean? Your mother gave this to me and said that you would come to me when you were 18. 18? Why would she say that? She passed away when I was seven. I don't know. Is there something significant about when you turned 18? Mm, yes, they put a trust fund away for me, but the lawyer never said anything about you. Wait, the pen. The lawyer told me I had to sign for the trust fund with my mother's pen. I forgot about the pen she sent me. I, oh. I signed with a regular pen. She wanted me to find your number when I was 18. Yes, so that I could give you this. What is it? I'm not sure. It looks like some kind of journal, but it's written in code. My mother used code? How odd. She sent this to me while she was looking for the lost Incan treasure in Peru. She told me to give it to you whenever you came for it. I guess you came for it. He's supposed yes, to I look did. that way. I'm very anxious to examine this journal. Uh, perhaps I can come by some other time and we can talk about my mother? Sure. Thank you so much for holding on to this. You're welcome. Wit has some decoding software at Wit's End. It could make sense of this journal. I've got to find out what it says post haste. Post haste! It'll take too long to scan this whole book. I'm just going to scan a few pages so I can get started decoding. Loading the decoding is this, software. Is this the coding part? This should no. be perfect for cracking the code. <laughs> what looking code? Hmm. It appears I need to use yeah, the it's letters to not to It's supposed to be, um, how do you say it? Kind of like a joke, I guess you could say. The Inca are thought to have the color pattern appears to be six red knots. knots followed by six yellow knots. Six blue knots must come next. Is G supposed to be green? No, duh. The Inca are thought to have used green? The color pattern appears to be six red knots followed by six yellow knots. Six blue knots must come next. The Inca yeah. are thought to have used knots tied in string, tied in string as, a as a form of, form of communication. communication. Oh, man. That's a lot. Okay, so the meaningful... What? The meaningful... The... What is that word? Mac... Macadamia cookies. I don't know. <laughs> What is it? Contained information, it was called... I don't understand. It says Mac blank aim. I don't know what... I don't know what that word is. Ki... Kia... Called... Kipu? What is it? No, we're trying to decode uh, a message from different pages inside of a... What was it? A journal that is that Eugene's mom had? Is that right, Ricky? Yeah. Yeah. Basically, uh, this this character we're playing as currently is Eugene. contained information. It was called Kipu. Um, his mother had uh, messages inside of a journal for him to decode. Uh, no. No, wait. No, no, no. That, yeah, you're right. Here I also, yeah, yeah, that might be it, right? Here I also have here, here I also have encoded, encoded. yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> encoded, now you can do the D's. Encoded my daily journal with knots. There we go. <laughs> well, Mr. Whitaker does think of everything, doesn't he? Actually, would have been really cool is if one of these games you could have done like the imagination station. You know what I mean? Like doing some kind of crazy adventure. Yeah, a third game. 
Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait, is that the computer? Is that the computer one? Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that if that was one of them. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Here, I also have encoded my daily journal with knots. Okay. Actually, this isn't as hard as I'd remembered. I guess Here, when you're I also younger, have encoded these are a lot my daily harder. journal with knots. I have... What? Frequently. Frequently. I have frequently changed the code. Oh, yeah. I have frequently changed the code to make it hard for anyone to read my thoughts. Yeah! I would like to buy a vowel. <laughs> <laughs> if you had Nana here right now, she'd be, she'd be reading everything before you even can guess. I have frequently changed the code to make it hard for anyone to read my thoughts. Nice. Nice. Only the... Only the... Ugh. Only... The something. Okay, so logic is the other word. Let's ignore that word right now and focus on the other ones. I have no idea. Only the... What? Only the... something and... logic? No, it couldn't- it couldn't be, uh... No! Wait a minute! Actually, could it? Careful. Only the careful and logic... minded? This kind of reminds me of the, the sort of no 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 no. This one is kind of similar to that. Yeah, they're both the same. These are like those puzzles on Nancy Drew with um, remember the captive curse? Remember that puzzle that um Lucas had on that paper his dad made for him? Do you remember that, Ricky? What? That that puzzle that Lucas had on Nancy Drew the captive curse. Yeah. Yeah, that's what this kind of reminds me of. It's not the exact same. Only the careful kind of and logic-minded may uncover the words that follow. Our work. Our work. Something. This. Our work. Can. Yeah, that, yeah, that makes sense. Can be. Yeah, that's probably it. Exciting. But it can also be dangerous. No! <laughs> Exciting. But it can also be dangerous. There we go. Our yeah, work can Ricky's be doing exciting, it. But it can also be dangerous. Oh. <laughs> I actually do not have any interest in watching, um... Well, how should I phrase that? I shouldn't say I don't have any interest in watching sports, but I'm not a big sports fan, if that makes any sense. You know, because I... If I have to watch basketball, it's fun. But... I don't, like, deliberately want to just go around watching basketball left and right, if that makes any sense. So the answer to that would be no. <laughs> Actually, I used to love watching the Olympics. Like, really wanting to watch them and stuff. But, I mean, I'll watch them here and there type of thing. They're still fun. They can still be fun, though. Especially the, the summer ones are more fun. Then... Oh, this. Yeah. This something with... To... Wait, sorry, what? I didn't know if that was a typo or something. What you were meaning, Trey? This journal? 
Yeah, he got, um, like I had said back, I think it was about a, almost a week ago. Yeah, he had gotten the, uh, what is it, the Star Wars Jedi Survival, and he also got the, he also got the, um, this is an old Justice League game. I think it was like the first one. Something like that. I think he kind of liked it. I don't know if he like loved it or anything. Uh, the journal. This journal will pass on information to you that will become useful. I think that's what it's saying. So, and he also got a swamp cooler to try to hopefully help cool down his room. I mean, it kind of does this a little bit, but it doesn't do as well as the AC useful. in the house. You're fine, Trey. <laughs> I love that though. Oh yeah, December games are great for sure. <laughs> yeah, basketball is definitely my favorite. And I do enjoy watching um, swimming. That one's fun too. There are four people. Uh, there are four people. Huh? There... Oh. Oh, yeah, Eugene, Eugene. You should be aware of Eugene. Oh yeah, it is, it is. I like swimming, the volleyball, the um, yeah, the gymnastics are pretty good too. And um, there are My mind's four blanking right you now. Should be aware of Eugene. I care too much for the water polo game. I think the swimming is a little bit more thrilling, if that makes sense. But yeah, basically the Olympics is probably my favorite form of watching of sports. But it's also hard too because we we don't like use um, what would you call it cable TV anymore so you know so you kind of just watch what you can online or if there's any sites that allow you to be able to watch more of it or whatever or if it's live or whatever I was able to watch the summer, summer Olympics back in 16 one of those sites that you know had it running Samantha Mikos is one of our rivals and is, ooh, ruled by greed. Ooh, ooh, Mama Meltzner being snippy, very, very snippy snappy. Samantha Mikos is one of our rivals and is ruled by greed. Quite frankly, I don't think I ever could, especially with how late I go to bed. Francisco Valdez may know more about the Incan treasure than anyone. Ooh. Ooh. Did you get anything else, Eugene? Yes, sir, Mr. Whitaker. It turns out that my meeting with Miss Hiller was most helpful. She gave me this journal. It was my mother's. Wow, have you read through it yet? Not entirely. It's written in code. Why would your mother write it in code? My considered speculation is that there are people who would like the information in here, and she wanted to hide it from them. Andrea's last name is Hiller. Andrea was my mother's roommate in college. Miss Hiller collects ancient artifacts. There are four people my mother told me to be aware of. Samantha Mikos was a greedy rival of my parents. Francisco Valdez knows something about the lost treasure. My mother gave me his location in Peru if I ever wanted to contact him. But there is more information in the Kipu journal that I have not been able to decode. I still need to use your scanner to scan more pages. Definitely. Nice work, Eugene. 
Do you have any information, Connie? Samantha Mikos may not have been as good of an archaeologist as your parents, Eugene, but she definitely made a name for herself after your parents disappeared. She was named Archaeologist of the Year four out of the eight years after your parents were gone, but now she owns an antiquity store in Peru. Why is she doing that? She lost the funding for her research. I guess she had to do something to make a living. Anything else? That's it for me. Thanks. Well, I'm afraid I didn't get anything myself, but I did make something in the inventor's corner that could help us. Whoever sent you that message, Eugene, is expecting to find a map in the Campbell College locker room. This may be our map that leads us to him. We've got a few suspects. Who do you think did it, Wit? I don't think we have enough information yet. Why don't we get this camera set up in the locker and see if it'll tell us anything? Aye, aye, Mr. Whitaker. Thanks. I'm going to try to find some more info on Francisco Valdez, since Eugene's mom seemed to think he knew something about the lost Incan treasure. Good. And can I look at the photo you took at Andrea's house? I'd like to see what kinds of artifacts she's collecting. Certainly. What I love, too, about Mr. Whitaker is how he doesn't just want to jump the gun and point fingers left and right until he knows more evidence. I like that. That's terrible okay. trick. Okay, I need information <laughs> on Francisco Valdez. His mom must have put the location of where his eyes are in code, too. That's why he can't find them. Huh. Wait. Okay. Lima, Peru, the legend. Weird. Okay, she's gonna I read. wonder if the legend is true. The legend of the lost Incan treasure has been alive in Peru for 500 years now. It has never been found, and now rumors abound that cl that claim that someone is out to, to keep it hidden. The legend of the Valdez family comes from archaeologists and treasure seekers over the years who claim that there are people in the jungles of Peru who will fight to the death to keep the treasure hidden. Many believe that all who attempt to enter the part of the jungle where the Valdez family lives will pay for it with their lives. This legend has turned many would-be explorers away. Last week, evidence surfaced that perhaps the legend is true. Samantha Mikos, famed archaeologist, told police that her team was scared of the jungle by terrifying sounds. She believed that it was the Valdez family scaring them off. Mikos's team thought differently and would not return to the jungle. Mikos vows to return with another team in the future. And so, the legend continues. You have to find another thing of information. Is it? We already saw that one. Oh, that's cool. I don't think I knew about that. Wow. The tropical rainforest that makes up a good portion of the country of Peru has long been uncharted in the territory. Jungle? The home of the only lush plants and trees and exotic animal life. But lately, evidence has surfaced that human life may actually exist in this dense jungle. Satellites above this area seem to indicate a human settlement hidden among the trees. Locals believe in the legend of the Valdez family, a clan of people that guard the lost Incan treasure with their lives. But there has been no proof that any of these people actually exist outside of the minds of the Peruvian peoples. Scientists and satellite experts say they will continue to investigate. That's a mouthful. Campbell County Community College. Campbell County Community College. 14. This is, this is it. Good. We'll get to see what looks like. Mm -hmm. Now for the test. Mr. Whitaker, I placed the box into the locker. Are you ready for the test? Oh, yes. Now the camera should take a picture as soon as the locker door is open. Go ahead and try it. Opens it back up. It takes a picture of him. <laughs> what if it does? <laughs> Very cute. The pictures are coming through just fine. I love that. Let's reset the timer on the camera so that it takes a picture automatically every few minutes or so. Then come on back as soon as you can. That room could be dangerous. Definitely. I'll be there post haste. All right, I'll set the delay to five minutes between pictures. That should be plenty. No, Trey. I should finish scanning the rest of these Kipu journal pages to see what other information my mother has for us. Loading the decoding software. I think um, the Razorbacks are pretty good, but um, we've never, like, you know, none of us have ever been, like, crazily, 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 crazily into sports, if that makes any sense, you know? Some of us are in our own way, if that makes any sense. Carlton Friedman is our partner. Carlton Friedman is our partner. 
B to the res B to the what? <laughs> I actually can't remember. I might have. No, I don't think I've ever been to a Razorback football game before. I can't remember. I know I was at a football game before. One of the guys in our youth group a few years back, he was he was doing one, and I was with my youth pastor and his wife and several of the others from uh, church. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. It's nice. We do the research to find the dig sites, and he supervises the digs. That's referring to that guy Carlton, right? We do the research to find the dig sites, and he supervises the digs. <laughs> this game is kind of like a... How do you describe it? Kind of like a smaller variation of Nancy Drew, so to speak. Game size, probably similar to the game companies making it. Probably similar, but I'm not 100% certain on that because I, I don't know about... Oh, they did? Oh, that's cool. Well, this wasn't made by Her Interactive, who does the Nature Drew games, but it's it has like a similarity to it, if that makes any sense. Actually, Ricky was telling me that um, the game company who made this, uh, Digital Praise, they um, uh, they actually wrote their own game engine for this using, was it JavaScript? Is that right? Yeah. Part of what they used was JavaScript. That's pretty good. It's, it's like having a small meal, if that makes sense. Kind of like having a small meal, not necessarily like a dessert. Kind of like this is like a small meal, whereas the Nature Drew games is a little bit more involved, I guess you could say. Kind of like, yeah, kind of something like Andrea that. Andrea is a trusted friend you should seek out. Andrea is a trusted friend you should seek out. Was it Andrea? What was Did they see? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've scanned Eugene's picture of Andrea's artifacts into my artifact sorting software. Now let's see how it works. I'm supposed to group the artifacts that look similar into vertical columns by sliding the rows back and forth and pushing the artifacts up and down into empty spaces. Once they're completely sorted, the software will identify what cultures they're from. Wait, I'm lost. <laughs> I love how that says Wits Computer. How do you do that? Yeah, you do that. Oh. I, oh, yeah, I think I kind of see now. This feels confusing. It's like one of those Nancy Drew games. <laughs> Puzzles. Uh. <laughs> do we have any tourist attractions? Well. Hmm. Hey, Mom, can you think of any? particular actually uh up in uh was it bentonville is that right mom where the five and dime store is the um okay okay uh mom's asleep right now so i'll have to let me think i think it was up in bentonville is where they have the um are you not oh okay <laughs> mom is that it's what is it? The what? The Five and Dime store up in Bentonville? What was that called again? Walton's? Walton's Five and Dime? Yeah. We have that. We have, um... I think... Can you think of any others, Mom? My brain is officially busted. Like, just different tourist attractions. There's Tyson. I mean, I know there's... there's 
different art museums. Oh yeah, in Fayette. Yeah. That light means I've got those artifacts sorted properly. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I've done it. So the that one arts is Center. Incan in origin and must have come from the lost Incan treasure. Connie and Eugene Sorry, need to hear about Sorry, my brain's really this. broken. Mom's trying to help me. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice with our we have a crappy baseball Thanks, team Mr. at the Arvest Park. I hope the pictures are usable. Connie, were you able to find out anything about Francisco Valdez? <laughs> Only that no one knows much about him. It's rumored that he's the head of the Valdez family, and that they live in the jungle, scaring people away from the treasure. Other than that, nothing. Oh. Why would your mother tell you about him, Eugene? I haven't a proverbial clue. It seems the more information we get, the more questions we have. Were you able to find out anything about all those artifacts that Miss Hiller has? One of the vases definitely appears to be of Incan origin. If my parents indeed sent her that treasure, it means the rumors could be true about them finding the treasure and leaving with it. Well, don't get ahead of yourself, Eugene. We still need to investigate some more. I did a little more work on the Kipu Journal, Mr. Whitaker. Great, Eugene. What do you have for us? Carlton Friedman was the full name of my parents' partner. My mother considered Andrea a trusted friend. Thanks, Eugene. Connie? Carlton Friedman, need info. I'm all over it. Thanks, Connie. We need to check the camera to see if anyone's taken off with the box yet. How are you going to see the pictures from here? They'll be transferred to our computer screen. What will they think of next? Look at that, Eugene. Five pictures have already been taken. Someone took the proverbial bait. Who? I can't see anything. Well, look closely. That's the inside of the locker. Impossible. The camera was activated, but the locker door was still closed. It looks like the camera's hey, being moved toward the back Mom. wall of the locker. Can you, can you, it's a false wall. Can you, can you. Exactly. They took the box through the back of the locker. Wow. We're really working with professionals here. Let's look at the next one. What in the world is that? Wait, I see. It's a car door. They placed the box in the passenger seat of their car. Oh, yeah. The box is facing the passenger door. Precisely. All right, let's go to the next one. Still the car door. Which means the ride in the car must have taken more than five minutes. Check the next one, Whit. Uh, we're not in the car anymore. It looks like the side of a house. One moment, please. Since there were two pictures taken of the uh, car we're not at sure, Trey. intervals, to answer then your the question. destination must have been less than 15 minutes from the college. At an average Mom will have of to look 25 it up. miles an hour, that would put the house at 4.9 to 7.9 miles away from the college. That's probably still an odyssey. Or the outskirts of Connellsville. Connellsville. That's it. I recognize that house. It's Andrea's. Andrea's? She's behind this? But she said she was your mother's friend. And why would she give you the journal? I have to say, I'm at a bit of a loss. Let's check the last picture. Uh-oh. Busted. Uh, in more <laughs> ways than one. She broke your camera, Mr. Whitaker. That's okay, Eugene. That was our best portable 3.2 megahertz transmitter. Look out, Andrea. Now you've got Eugene mad. I think we <laughs> should pay Andrea a visit. Let's see if I can find out anything about Carlton Friedman. Okay. Carlton Friedman is an expert geologist from Geneva, Switzerland, the son of famed archaeologist. So Carlton was known for his hot-headedness and flights of exaggeration. Doesn't seem like something for a graduate of GSA to be known for. Makes me think he might have made up some of his stories about the Meltzners. Son of famed archaeologist Harrison Friedman, he is a graduate of the Geneva School of Archaeology. After graduation, he excavated in the pyramids of Egypt. Later, Friedman teamed up with the famous archaeologists and historians Leonard and Thelma Meltzner and set off to find the lost Incan treasure in Peru. After this venture, the team parted ways. Friedman cited betrayal on the part of the Meltzners, but sources say that Friedman was known for a demeanor of hot-headedness and flights of exaggeration. Friedman was known throughout archaeological circuits. Circles? No, circles. As a good geologist, but a second-rate historian. Speculation is that this is why Friedman continually partnered with people who were better than him in this realm.
We already saw that one. I already saw that one. Uh, famous archaeologist disappear. Was that already seen? Yeah, we didn't see that one. Wow. <clears throat> All right. Carlton Friedman was certain they had finally found the lost treasure of the Incas. We were close, very close. I knew it. Friedman said, a member of the Melsters' team. And I could tell that the Melsters knew it, too. So if Samantha Mikos worked with the Melsners, that means she probably knows Carlton Friedman. We made camp that night and all went to sleep at the same time. But when I woke up in the middle of the night, they were gone, along with all of their gear, their tent, everything. It was... It was... Whoa. Where did it... It was gone. Now I find it hard to believe... Uh... uh let me see. When I, woke, when I woke up in the middle of the night, they were gone along with all of their gear. Their tent, everything, it was gone. Now I find it hard to believe that in some kind of accident was responsible. If they had been attacked by a wild animal, I'm pretty sure they would have had time to fold up their tent, right? They wouldn't have had time to fold up their tent, right? Uh, there has been no sign of the Melstresses since, and Friedman isn't the only one who believes the Melstresses are up are something less than victims. Samantha Mikos, another archaeologist and arrival of the Melsners, seems to think that the Melsners were certainly capable of such a crime. I've known the Melsners for 20 years. We used to work together, but they could never be trusted. Ooh, the closer we got to a find, the greedier they got. They always took the credit for their finds and never even mentioned their teams. That's why I got out. Mikos disbanded from the Melsners' team 12 years ago and has since formed her own team. There have been many instances when the two teams have been searching for the same find at the same time, but the Melsners are the ones that became archaeology's king and queen. Perhaps now the Melsters are, indeed, living like kings and queens. Pretty much all the cats Let's came to us. We don't know if this woman is dangerous. Callie uh, was pregnant with cats, what? and then she ran off, An had the kittens, got impregnated again, came back, Lima and had her kittens here, Lima. and only three of them She's survived. The treasure. Possibly, but seems odd that she would just happened to drop this piece of paper right here. And why would she leave her front door wide open if she was leaving for a long trip? Exactly. Hello? Mr. Whitaker, the Incan vase. It was right there on the shelf. Are you sure? Absolutely. And it's the only one missing. What's going on here? Eugene, why don't you review the latest clues we've discovered related to Andrea? My pleasure, Mr. Whitaker. Our package was delivered to Andrea's house. Andrea appears to have left in a hurry for Peru. The Incan artifact was missing from Andrea's collection. I think that's everything so far, Mr. Whitaker. Thank you, Eugene. Connie, did you find anything interesting about Mr. Friedman? Here are the clues I entered into the datacom. Carlton believed the Meltzners escaped in the middle of the night with the treasure. Carlton Friedman is an expert geologist from Geneva, Switzerland. Carlton is a graduate of the Geneva School of Archaeology. Friedman was known for his hot-headedness and flights of exaggeration. Friedman was known throughout archaeological circles as a good geologist, but a second-rate historian. This Friedman is starting to sound pretty suspicious. That sounds like a couple of people may have a motive for wanting the treasure. So what do we do now? Uh, it looks like our best move is to follow Andrea and head to Peru. But something isn't connecting. Andrea didn't acquire any new information from us. We simply gave her an empty box. What would make her leave now? Well, I'm still not convinced she left of her own free will. You think someone took her? Maybe. But that's enough reason to think we shouldn't waste any more time. Let's go. Maybe we'll get to do some sightseeing while we're down there. Miss Kendall, need I remind you of the purpose of this trip? I mean, we can go sightseeing after we capture the bad guy. I'm so glad you have your priorities straight. Look, we capture the bad guy by four. Maybe we can do some touristy things before dark. That's all I'm saying. That's like Bess. Look, it just sounds like what Bess right would say. Next to our hotel. We should stop in there and see what if they say? can help us. Uh, hello, I was wondering if you could help us with something. What's that? We're looking for a map. Or a person with a map. Or an Incan artifact. Maybe both. They've all arrived from the United States. Maybe. Uh, we're not positive. I don't understand a word you're saying. Do you know of anyone who is involved with the unearthing of the Incan treasure? Everybody and their brothers are involved with unearthing the Incan treasure. We got so many tourists and visitors here, it's ridiculous. Do you know of any experts in the area? Oh, sure. We got some archaeologists and such around here. Who? Samantha Mikos owns an antiquity shop nearby. There's a geologist named Carlton Friedman who comes around every so often, always claiming something's been stolen from him. Carlton? 
Could you direct us to them? Sure. Samantha's store is just down this road. Carlton has an office north of here. Good. Thanks for all your help. Where should we go first? Well, I'm thinking we should split up. Why? Andrea could be in danger. We need to find her as soon as we can. I agree. Connie, you go to Samantha's store. Oh, sure. Send the girl shopping. Connie, I'm sending you there because it's probably the safest place of the three. Just see if you can find Samantha. Eugene, you take your mother's map and see if you can find Francisco. I'll go to Carlton's office and keep an eye out for Andrea. Come back to the hotel as soon as you're done. We'll meet there. Good plan. Let's go. Be careful. You can meet up with Samantha Miko. Slap her in the face. <laughs> yes, you have to split up to increase the, the tension of the story. Huh. Oh, quite the collector. Hello? Is anybody home? What's this? Be back later, Carlton. Wait, aren't we supposed to look for something? Guess I'll head back to the hotel to see if Eugene and Connie have had any better luck. Oh, okay. That's odd. Okay. Hmm, quite the out of the way spot. He's just teleporting to these places. Uh, may I help you? Uh, yes, uh, does a Mr. Francisco Valdez live here? Si. May I speak with him? Oh, lo siento. You just missed him. He went down that path an hour or so ago. Was he alone? No, he was following three others. Into the jungle? That's right. Do you know who the three others were? Si. Senorita Mikos was one. I've seen the man who was with them, pero I don't know his name. And there was another woman that I'd never seen before. She looked like a tourist. Thank you, ma'am. You've been most helpful. Don't be so insulting. She looks like a tourist. <laughs> what a great place. I have to come back here and get some stuff before we leave. What? You're gonna just take it? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Good afternoon. May I help you with something? Yes, is this the shop that Samantha Mikos owns? That's right. Is she here? Oh, I'm afraid not. When will she be back? Oh, she didn't say. Maybe I'll come back later with my friends. Oh, how about a postcard? Aren't they beautiful? Fine, I'll get a postcard. Oh, this one looks interesting. One of our most popular sellers. Legend has it that hidden in that pattern is the map to the lost treasure of the Incas. Really? Wow! I've got to show this to my friends! We're gonna go treasure hunting! Yay! I'm glad to see everyone made it back safely. Eugene, did you find Francisco Valdez? I found his house and spoke with his housekeeper. Francisco followed Samantha Mikos and two other people into the jungle. Who were they? The housekeeper didn't know, but she did say that one of them looked like a tourist. Ah. My personal guess is that the tourist type was Andrea. Maybe. But then who is the third person? I can't say for sure, but Carlton Friedman was not at his office when I went looking for him. You think it was Carlton? Possibly. I went to his office, and he left a handwritten note saying he'd be back later. So he is behind all of this. At least Carlton is involved somehow. But what about Samantha Mikos? What about her? Did you find something? I only spoke with her sales clerk. Samantha wasn't there. She was very persistent about selling me something. I finally gave in and bought this postcard. That pattern looks familiar. That's one of the patterns that comes up in the Meltzner logic puzzle. In fact, it looks precisely the right size. Uh, let me try something. It fits. It looks like a map of a jungle. Can you unscramble the map? I believe so. Wait, so it's supposed to have the black. Yeah, it's supposed to have the black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like one of those tension music in one of those game shows. <laughs> Who will she choose? <laughs> What's that? I don't know. It's never done that before. Hmm. Dear Eugene, since you are reading this, you must have figured out how to use the MLP and have, one way or another, followed our clues that led you to the first jungle map. Congratulations, son. We knew you could do it. <sighs> to find the location of the lost Incan treasure, you must drive to the jungle at the outskirts of town. Then use the map you have just unscrambled to find your way through the jungle. You will find other maps hidden in the jungle 
that will ultimately lead you to the location of the lost Incan treasure. Do not try to find your way through the jungle until you have found the map for that section of the jungle. Good luck, son. I wonder Otherwise, if you'll this be lost. is the same path that Francisco took into the jungle. Which means Samantha and Carlton may already be on their way. I believe we should make haste. Yes, let's go. Post haste! All right, let's stay close together now. Wow, what a beautiful fo- You interrupted her. <laughs> I think you can use the keyboard. Woo! It appears that something may have been hidden in that pile of rocks. Pick it up. This is going to take a while. How many of these are there? Woo, buddy, that's a lot. Okay, so we I have, believe like, we the can now successfully bottom. travel okay. through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. All right, so we have to get to the other maps first up there. Those. Is it harder on the keyboard? Yeah, a little bit. This section kind of reminds me of the Nancy Drew dossier. You know, when you're moving around in the, um... Remember that big giant maze that they have? Um, what's that one game called? Uh, Resorting to Danger. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah, dossier. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what, um, this I, section kind of reminds me of. Can save this? Uh, can we save it? Oh, yeah, duh. Yeah, hit on theater, and then we can save it. Save game! Just save it, whatever. Game one. Oh, that... <laughs> wow, what a beautiful forest! Actually, Miss Kendall, the correct terminology is tropical rainforest, also known as jungle. Your phone... <laughs> I love that. It appears that something may have been hidden in that pile of rocks. Pick it up. Your food's ready. Canadian pizza. It's it's delish. I mean, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I believe we can now successfully travel through this travel section of through jungle. The jungle. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, peoples. Oh, we can't go through this way. Perhaps we should. Yeah, they did. Yeah, if the wa yeah the waterfall is like completely just still picture. <laughs> They're just so tiny looking. Actually, it's kind of funny when he does that. It's it's a famous thing um, he does, especially with with um, Connie. He and Connie are like fussy siblings with each other. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Let's move it, move it. Wait. How do we get down there? Okay, yeah, let's go around then. Keep going up. Going around. Yeah, no wonder this is really hard when you're young. You know? I don't recognize this. Perhaps we yeah, should Eugene, solve a puzzle for this part of the jungle before we proceed. Yep, we're not supposed right. to be on this. Let's go back and keep looking. Guys, shush. Just keep walking. Just keep running. Walking. Swiftly walking. Yeah, you might have to, yeah, the keyboard might be just better in the long run. Woo! 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 Okay, so we would probably have... How many more of these? Not sure. 
dun 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 Yeah, this is the kind of game... This is the kind of game that you need to be, like, probably at least 12 or 13. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go! I just have a game, so certain game. I really couldn't get, and now I'm older. Technically speaking, this would be more of like a teenager type game, the way that it's designed. The other one that Ricky and I had done back, goodness, when was that? Several months back, the Sword of the Spirit one. That one, um, it's kind of 50-50 because some kids could really get through it because it's not as hard as this um, in some ways, but in other ways it is too, so it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it just depends on the person being able to figure um, certain things out. So I know even for myself, if I was like 13 trying to play this right now, I think I would be kind of confused with certain things. I, I do have to admit that. Where are we supposed to go? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah! Oh no, Steph, you are in your own way. Trust me. Everybody is talented in their own way. Some people are good at other things, while well, other people are better, you know, different things. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go! Okay, uh... Keep, yeah, we have to keep going around to look for maybe... Maybe we should try to go further up on the right-hand side. If we keep going right, we might find something. <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> hey, I'm literally almost 22 years old, and just even certain things with math that should come easily to even a 12, 13 year old, it's sometimes still really hard for me to kind of comprehend in some ways, if that makes any sense. I get more pieces. Hey, no, I understood what you meant, Trey, when you were saying that to Stephanie. Don't worry about that, it's, it's alright. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go! Yeah, exactly, Steph. I mean, just everybody's different. Some people are just wired for very complicated kind of stuff. And then other people, they're wired for other things, even if they are considered more basic things. Okay, we have to get further to the right-hand side, because we need to find more of those. If you go too far right, then we're gonna be out of the jungle. <laughs> then you can't get to that one, it's over here. Yeah. It's so far you are Oh. Aha! So the game tries to trick you. Dream team! The jungle looks a little bit like the one on Ransom of the Seven Ships on Nancy Drew. Ricky, you're the man. If you don't get it, no I one can. We can now successfully <laughs> travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're almost two thirds of the map full. Where are we supposed to go? Hey, uh, I guess you can go that way, but I don't know if it's gonna be up there. Yeah, nothing. Nothing yet. 
Swishy, swishy, swishy. Do it, take back. Maybe we should go up here. Yeah, may yeah, if we go up further, we should be able to find one. Hey, at least on the captive purse it isn't like this trying to get around. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> at least it's not like on the captive curse when you're trying to get through. At least it, it's not like designed like this on Nancy Drew. That'd have been horrible. <laughs> but what would be worse was that you would not have a map on that game. On here at least you have a map to be able to see where you're where you're going. We're getting it! High five, Team Hotchkiss! Actually, I do have to admit, I think this game was better put together than the other one. The Sword of the Spirit. Uh -huh. But the Sword of the Spirit has more action in it, in terms of stuff that goes on. Um, like, you know, with what you have to do physically. I believe we can now this successfully one has travel story, through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go! Alright, so... We're getting there, we're getting there. Alright, keep going, keep going! Uh, maybe we should go back down. Done! Done! There you go up. Try going up. Yeah, I would go up. Ooh, map, map, map! There's a map, there's a map. Yeah! We got the map! Yeah! There's another phone one up there. We might be able to get it though. Yeah, I think I think we'll be able to because um that looks like it's further up inside the maps. Um area. Who's my favorite superhero team? Are you meaning like the Avengers or like the Guardians of the Galaxy and stuff? Is that what, is that what you're meaning? I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Uh, I, I would probably this. have to see the Avengers, because I, I, I really like Marvel. The, uh, I like the Guardians of the Galaxy, but I prefer the Avengers overall. with no way to go oh wait there's a map <laughs> the drama is strong with this one oh hey mom what were you trying to show me earlier about the thing I believe we can now successfully travel through this section lab. of jungle. Okay, Underneath let's go. the water, the water, we're lost in the sea lab. Underneath the water, we're in the jungles. I'm in despair. I don't recognize. <laughs> We're gonna have to get over there.
Okay, so basically, Trey, Mom was showing me um, a an article she was reading that there was a Discover Arkansas team trip took a team took a trip along Interstate 40 to Pottsville, Arkansas. I actually never heard of that before. The small town has a hidden gem that has been around since the 1850s. The Potts Inn, as it is now known, is a former stagecoach. Um, this was the largest stagecoach between Fort Smith and Little Rock. The home was used as a post office way station, a center for community gatherings, and it was the Potts family home. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. That's interesting. I knew someone who really liked the X-Men too. Yes, I think he did. <laughs> yeah, I think he, yeah, he preferred the X-Men over the Avengers. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to be able to get to that. I mean, you may have to go around. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you'll have to like go down and then there, something like that. Yeah. This is like one of those kitty maps on cereal boxes. Do you want to suffer? Would you like to suffer while having cereal? Then play the maze on the back of the box. No, it's not that bad, but. You're guaranteed to lose your appetite. <laughs> what? You just said you're guaranteed to lose your appetite. That's terrible. Yeah, I got another map. I love how Wit, Connie, and Eugene just have like such fast legs. Sorry, what? They're smaller pieces. <laughs> Ooh, buddy. There's a lot of little pieces you have to do. What's a dream place I'd want to visit? There's a lot of places. There's a lot of places. Italy. Paris. Hawaii. I believe we can now ah. successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Greece would be actually very interesting. Um... <laughs> Probably a lot of places. What about you, Trey? We may- it looks like we'll have to go around somewhere. Where have we got, like, animals on the It sounds like either the Banshee Queen's two or the Clickers. <laughs> Yeah, it does kind of sound like the clickers. Chris was saying that whatever the animal is in the background, it's it's kind of sounds like um, either the banshee from Nancy Drew haunting Castle Malloy, or the uh, or at least what it sounded like a banshee noise. It actually wasn't supposed to be a banshee in the game, but anyways. Um, uh, the parrot. No, it was. Uh, are you talking about in the haunting of Castle Malloy? No, I mean on this game. Oh, on this game? Yeah. I'm just guessing. Yeah, it was just funny. Chris was saying it sounded like a clicker from The Last of Us. That's funny. <laughs> Come on, let's go to the jungle and let's not get eaten. Pip pip cheerio. Oh, what a beautiful morning! As you get attacked and eaten. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. It's getting so tense. <laughs> Which way now, guys? Maybe keep going up? Or wait, yeah, yeah. Keep going up and see if there's anything. Keep going. Ooh, map, 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 map. Caracas? So what? That's where we're headed to. Uh-huh. Oh, that's cool. There's this drink called horcata. They make it 
fresh there. When you first had it, you fell in love with it. You think you might love it more than Remy? Oh! 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 Oh, oh goodness. Not even sure what to say about that. Steph, no, that no, <laughs> that's terrible. Uh. I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. I guess from getting to the path. <laughs> okay, now we have to go all the way around. Woo! Woo! We're getting through it. Wait, this is a rainforest, right? Um, That'd be funny if it started raining on them. <laughs> oh, that's terrible, Trey. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> be getting there. Try going up and see if there's any maps. Ooh, yeah, if you go on the left side you might get something. Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! Bum, 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 bum. We're getting it. We're getting it. Uh huh. Uh. We're getting it. The music's nice. Dun 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 dun. Oh, and by the way, we are still planning to do the uh, Call of Duty stream tomorrow. I believe we can Just now you know. successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... Keep... Yeah, keep going to the right. And then you'll have to... Yeah, you'll have to go up and then to the right down. That should be where you have to go. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, keep going down. And then... Up. Oh. That way. Try that. See if there's anything. So far, nothing. Oh, there is. There is. Yeah! I think it's the last one. Oh, there's actually something funny. Um, our dad found out, um, this was like months back, maybe even a year or two ago. It was funny, there's actually a place called Flippin' Arkansas. That's really funny. I'm going over to Flippin' Arkansas! Just sounds like you're upset, it's just funny. <laughs> Let's go flippin' to Flippin' Arkansas! I believe we can now successfully travel through this section of jungle. Okay, let's go. Yeah, now you can go down. I think you have to go all the way down and then to the right Which down. Which way now, guys? Let's go to flipping Arkansas. Amen. Game. Ooh. Wow, what a beautiful forest! Actually, Miss Kendall, the correct terminology is tropical rainforest, also known as jungle. Your father's note said that we'd find more maps in the jungle. Let's start looking. 
Okay, keep going to the right. There you go. That should be it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it'll lead you there. As long as you stay on the path and then go to the right hand side once you meet up there. Ooh, will Steph take it? Will Steph take the money? Alright, we're getting it! Now we find out who's responsible for all of this. Um. Oh, shoot. I don't think Andrea is. Maybe. Ah, I'm gonna go with Francisco, but I could be wrong. Francisco? Yeah, let's go with Francisco. I'm gonna regret this. I feel like it. The proverbial jig is up, you calculating kidnapper. <gasps> What's going on? You're tied Wait, up? was that right? No. Yeah. Oh! Help! Carlton forced us here. I thought he was Frisco. Treasure. He's headed for the ruin. Connie, get them untied. Eugene, come with me. Wait, is watch out for the trap. Running up there. We're stuck. Carlton is getting away. Look, the center of the room. What is that? <laughs> Mr. Whitaker, look. This maze. It has four doors in it, just like this building. This oh, may no. be our only way out. Look at all these oh, prisms. No. Ah, my guess is that we should use those to refract the light from that beam to shine on the four doors. I agree. Let's try it. <laughs> I, I was <laughs> so distracted. I didn't know what you guys were talking There's about. There's one door. <laughs> and the second door. <laughs> we were staying alive in that jungle, huh? Oh yeah, she's she's crazy and lovable all at the same time. Yeah, I thought it, I thought that guy with the with the mustache thing was was what's his face, Francisco. I didn't understand it was Carlton Friedman. What are we even supposed to be doing? Are we supposed to get the light to the top right? Yeah, to get the light. Yeah. Uh. This, this goes down. This reminds me of Tomb of the Lost Queen. Okay, so are they all supposed to hit all the four corners of the. Maybe if you do that, yeah. That might work. Only one more. Ooh, ooh! Nice. We accomplished our feat, Mr. Whitaker. <laughs> Ooh. Heather and Rosie duo. Uh try try a square one on the right hand side. Wait. No, 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 no. Do a triangle. Maybe... yeah, try that one. Huh? Maybe try the other one. The other one. Oh, I didn't realize that. It bounces here, it comes out here, it bounces here, it comes out here. Okay, um... Uh, try a square on the top of that one? Oh, that worked. Not sure. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Whoa. Well, apparently, Ricky knows what he's doing, and I'm just fumbling around. Ignore my useless brain. I would try, um, maybe try a square one on the bottom one. 
Yeah, maybe. But it doesn't want to go out that right side. This is confusing. <laughs> Why is this so confusing? Okay, you can use a triangle on that one. The right-handed, the right-sided triangle. Make some sweet tea! You get back here, woman! How dare you! That was rude. Say what now? Yeah, that could work. That could work. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, put the triangle, the right, right side of triangle downward? You are gonna get back here, woman. You get your Canadian self back here and sit back down. No, uh, put that one on the left-hand side, where you had it originally. Okay. Put it. Can you pull the square one down a little bit further down? You are going to, woman. Don't make me come up there. Oh, you- no you don't. Woman? You get up the stairs. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, that's a little drastic. <laughs> so not only do you own an estate, but you own an ocean. Okay. <laughs> but no, seriously, you take that phone back out of your pocket right now. Back up those stairs. And sit. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a puzzle that we do not understand fully. Stop back talking. Exactly, you don't deserve a phone anyways. Technically, in this case, you're back texting me. Yeah, that's your- wait, 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 if you do the right triangle, you do the right triangle on that. Real quick. On the left- on the left-hand side. Yeah, you grab it. You put that there. Oh, it's gonna go up. Well. Just you wait until I come up there. You know? You will regret it. Sass levels activated. Exactly, Trey. Ah, this is very confusing. Yeah, do that one, that one, that one, that one. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha, buddy! Can you take it? Ooh! Are you gonna sass me that much? You are not making that sweet tea. I will take away the sweetness of it and you're just gonna have plain tea. Oh! No, you won't. No, you won't. 
I would take away the sweetness, even if it killed me. I'm older than you. Therefore, I have a right to boss you, you know? Yeah, I'm just giving you a hard time. But seriously, did you make the sweet tea yet? your daily dose of sweet tea. <laughs> Serious? <laughs> Good gravy, girl. Get that sweet tea. <laughs> what are you doing? Just standing at the stairs? <laughs> No idea how much longer this game will be though, so you might want to hurry. I think we're pretty close to the end, I'm actually not sure. Are we Ricky? Yeah. Yeah, we are really close to the end, so. Oh! I think we are Hey, you guys all right in there? You're Francisco Valdez, aren't you? That's right. And don't be afraid of me, please. The rumors are only partially true. You mean the rumors that you kill people who come into this part of the jungle? <laughs> yes. I do scare them, but nothing more. You're Leonard's boy, aren't you? Yes. How did you know? You look just like him. How did you know my father? He found this treasure many years ago, but he didn't take any of it. Why? Because I asked him not to. Eugene, my ancestors were conquistadors. Do you know who they were? I do. They conquered the Incan people and tried to take their gold from them, but they never found it. That's right. What my people did 500 years ago was wrong. They were greedy and ruthless. But my father taught me that we could make up for it, and his father taught him before that. How? By guarding the treasure and making sure that it remained hidden forever. And we've done that. But those many years ago, when your parents found us, Eugene, I told them that very story. Your father was gracious enough to honor our wishes not to let the location of this treasure become public. I was so grateful, I gave him an artifact. Which he gave to the museum in Lima. Exactly. Then they left, knowing that others would come and not be so gracious. So my parents gave up the treasure, gave up the fame, just so you could keep your secret? They were good people, Eugene. You should be proud. I couldn't be more proud. <laughs> Teleported back to town. I just got off the phone with the police. Carlton is going to be spending some time in prison. Maybe now my life can get back to normal. I apologize for getting you involved, Miss Hiller. It wasn't you. It was Samantha and Carlton. How do you know Samantha had anything to do with this? She and Carlton were arguing the whole time while we were walking in the jungle. I figured out the whole scheme. Carlton contacted Samantha to get information about the Meltzners. He thought they might even still be alive. Samantha made him a deal. If he would go with her on a mission to find the treasure, then she would give him information about your parents. So she gave him my address? That's right. He didn't know you even existed, Eugene. Your parents didn't tell anybody they worked with, out of fear for your safety. Archaeology can be pretty dog-eat-dog. -dog. So Carlton tailed you to my house, and when he saw the Incan artifacts, he thought they were real and took one. Then he discovered there was a map inside. That's why we went to South America. But what about Samantha? 
We met her in Peru, but when we found the treasure, he double-crossed her. That's when you guys found us. So is Samantha in jail too? Well, they're still investigating, but I imagine the truth will come out. I know it will, thanks to you. I can't believe you guys did what you did. You risked your life for me, and you didn't even really know me. You know what? What? You take after your parents. I don't think there's a better compliment you could give me, Miss Hiller. Thank you. Um, do you have some time to stay? I'd love for you to tell me more about my mother. I'd like to hear more, too. You <laughs> have to admire a woman who was able to raise Eugene. <laughs> Indeed. Oh! Why don't we talk about it over some ice cream? Everyone game? Ooh, ice cream sounds like a good idea. Thanks, Whip. In Double Deed. After you, Miss Hiller. Miss Kendall. Sounds wonderful. <laughs> Join our trio they on went, another exciting they adventure. For, Adventures in Odyssey. They went for ice cream? Is that the what spirit. they said? No, we're going out for ice cream. No, they were saying, have some ice cream. You know. Oh, okay. I thought they were, like, going to go out for ice cream from what you were saying. It's like they're... <laughs> They own an ice cream shop. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that was a lot faster than I thought. Good gravy. Well, thank you, you two, for watching. Having fun. Hanging out. So tomorrow, we are still going to do the Call of Duty stream. And... Wait, are you serious right now? <laughs> Why? He's sitting on a stair step. You better go get your sweet tea now. <laughs> oh, man. So hopefully we'll be able to finish the Call of Duty stream tomorrow. And um, next week we're planning to do another Nancy Drew stream. So, um, I... Hopefully I can get the Guardians of the Galaxy game streamed next Friday. But I'll see. I've been wanting to do that for like past month or two. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Had fun having y'all hanging out. You're sitting in the passenger side of a car while this girl named Remy next to you is sing is singing a Carmen Miranda song. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, sure thing. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. You too. Yeah, it's fun. That was a lot faster than I thought. I'll turn up my YouTube true. Oh, that's funny. Mouse speed, go back up. It's it's like there we go. No. Do you see that, Ricky? That's weird. <laughs> Alrighty.